Today is day two for my St. Patrick's Day sublimation series. Let's jump into the project. Grab this free sublimation artwork at emmywilson.com slash blog. When it prints, it will come out backwards and ready to sublimate. Use a ruler to rip down the paper as close as you can to the design without tearing into your design. This will keep you from having harsh edges. For this project, I'm using a sandwich board from the Dollar Tree, but you could use any piece of wood or wooden sign. Use a pencil to trace around your wood on your fabric so you'll know what size to cut. We want the material to be just large enough to cover the front of our sign. Next, cover your heating pad with a piece of cardboard and lay your material on your cardboard. Turn your design upside down and use heat transfer tape to tape around the edges of your design. Cover with parchment paper and press at 400 degrees for 40 seconds. Make sure to use moderate and even pressure as you press. Carefully peel away the parchment paper and the heat transfer paper to reveal your design. Wait until cool to touch. This is extremely hot. Line your printed fabric over your wood or sandwich board. Add a little bit of hot glue at the corners and around the edge to hold in place. Follow for more sublimation and home decor ideas.